Wow, this is a seriously janky yeah. car. Hi, I'm Katie Fehrenbacher with Gigom TV's Green Overdrive Show, and we're here at the LA Auto Show with Jeff Boyd, who's president of WeGo. Hi, Jeff, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, and we're standing in front of the WeGo Life. That's right. So this launch is next month in December around the United States. Okay. And highway capable, how fast can it go? 65 miles per hour. Okay. That's our recommended top speed. Uh, and it's crash worthy, which means it's been through all the safety standards that are dictated by the Department of Transportation. It also has driver and passenger airbags, four wheel disc brakes, ABS, tire pressure monitoring system, and all the safety features that are required in new cars today. And how much does this cost? This is uh, $32,995 to the consumer, um, but it also qualifies for a variety of tax credits. $21,022 with all the subsidies, that's about the same as the LEAF or so. So like why would, what's your pitch to customers to why buy a WeGo and not a LEAF? Well, that's a, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> I get asked that an awful lot. Yeah. Well, first of my response is we're not in competition with the LEAF. Our view at WeGo is that the market demand right now is about a million units in the U.S. this year if EVs were available. So we use the analogy of the iPod with Apple. Before the iPod came out, it was hard to estimate what the market was because the product, product didn't exist. Mm -hmm. Once the product hit the market, it exploded. We feel the same way about electric cars. Once We know the market is, is there. What's been lacking is the product. So we're really not in competition with a Nissan LEAF. We don't want to take market share from another electric car company. Mm -hmm. I mean, our competition is internal combustion vehicles. Can you walk us around the technology? Sure. The two items in the front of the car are the controller, which is actually the computer that runs the car. Mm -hmm. So a motor controller in an electric car is like a laptop computer. In fact, if you opened up our controller box, it would look just exactly like a black laptop computer that you just ordered from Dell. Our secret sauce for our car is the software that we write into that controller. So it's our software that makes the car special. This happens to be a two-seater by design, and we wanted it to be a two-seater because we think that range is one of the critical elements to electric uh, car technology mm -hmm. and early adoption. If we provided this car at $30,000 and it got 50 miles per charge, we wouldn't sell it. We think 100 miles per charge is right now the benchmark that a company has to approach. And the battery, battery that's lithium uh, iron, right? This, this battery technology is lithium iron phosphate. And why did you guys choose that over like well, other competing technology? Well, we really like it because it's safe. It runs cool, so there's very little heat buildup. And, and because of that, you don't need a, a cooling mechanism. It's air-cooled rather than water or liquid-cooled. Um, it's relatively low cost, and it's plentiful. So okay. the car's on right now? car's on. Okay. You're good to go. Let's go. Yeah, it has a little bit more noise than the other electric vehicles I've driven. Yeah, it feels like the Think City. It feels a little bit, a little uh, jumpy. How would you say? Yeah, it's not exactly smooth. That's for sure. Uh, not smooth enough to, for compared to like the Leaf or something, which is the same price. And it's pretty small, also. Obviously, because it's a two-seater, but it also feels uh, a little bit crammed. All right, we're going to sport mode now. And the noise level is pretty loud. It's kind of worrying for an electric car. See, do you hear that now? Yeah. There's like a whirring and a little buzzing underneath that. <laughs> um, 
which is okay for you know like a startup or like even a prototype or production car but when you're competing with huge automakers that are making cars that feel super smooth and feel just like regular cars it's probably not a very good competitive offer you know I feel like these startups keep running up into the exact same problem over and over again and it's like unless you have some kind of revolutionary technology it's like what are you guys doing excuse me